hello everyone welcome back to ivy's youtube channel today i will show how to configure hadoop in windows operating system over here i am using windows based virtual machine you can use your local windows operating system as well before we configure hadoop we need to check java is installed or not to check it go to your command prompt and write java then press enter to execute if java isn't installed you will see java is not recognized as an internal or external command to install a java uh, now go to your web browser search oracle java download click on this link then scroll down and choose java 8 then click on windows then download since my operating system is 64 bit i am downloading this if your operating system is 32 bit then you can download from the other link click on here to accept the license agreement then click on download after that oracle will ask you to log in if you don't have any account then click on create account since i have already an account just provide the credentials and click on sign in then the download will be started before we start to install it first go to your local disk drive c and create a folder name as java now let's install java double click on the downloaded file click next again click next over here change the path to java the newly created folder under c drive then click next to install java click on close to complete the installation process now go to program files folder then java and cut the jdk folder then paste it in the java folder and delete the java folder under the program files now again go to command line prompt and write java and run it it still shows java is not found we need to configure the environment of java so it can be detected correctly go to search bar search environment variables then open it create a new user variable where username is java home all caps for the variable value go to the java then jtk then bin folder copy the path of the folder and then paste it over here now click on the path of system variable then click on edit then create a new environment variable over here paste the same jdk bin path over here after that click on ok and here also to take effect all the changes now open a new command line prompt write java now it's working you can check java version as well now our java installation is done now we have to install the hadoop so for that again go back to your browser and search apache hadoop click on this link then click on download we are going to download one version older than the latest version since it is more stable click on binary then click on this link it will start downloaded we also need winrar to unzip it first i am installing winrar once it's installed double click to download hadoop file and extract it on the c drive
and rename it as a Hadoop. Now open the Hadoop folder, then click on etc. Then right click on Hadoop env, then click on edit. Over here change the Java JDK path. Again, we have to create environment path for Hadoop. Go to search bar and open edit environment variables. Then click on environment variables. In user variable, create new user variable name as Hadoop home all caps and provide the Hadoop bin path in the variable value. Again in system variable edit path create a new environment path Hadoop bin and sbin path. And press ok to save it. Now go to command prompt to check our system detect Hadoop or not. Just write Hadoop, it will print the all commands for Hadoop. Let's check the Hadoop version from here and you can see that Hadoop 3.2.4 is running. So our Hadoop is detected, now we have to configure Hadoop to run it in our system. First go to Hadoop folder then etc then again Hadoop folder and right click on the core site xml file then edit it. Now in configuration you have add one property which should have name and value. I am just copy this in a notepad. We need to write this many more times. Now in core site XML, write in the name as fs dot default fs. Fs will be capital. Then in the value section, I give the localhost path HDFS localhost 9000. Now press Ctrl S to save it and close it. After that, we need to edit HDFS site.xml or HTTPS site.xml. Either one will work. Now again write a property with the name as a dfs dot replication where the value will be 1 and create two more properties we have to give the path of name node and data node. Now go back to your Hadoop folder create a folder named as data then inside the data folder create two more folder named as name node and data node respectively. After that copy the path of name node then go back to your xml file give the property name as dfs.namenode.name.directory and the value will be the path of a name node. Same as you have to do with this data node give the path of the data node and the name will be dfs.namenode.name.dir Now once it done save it and close it.
now again go back to folder then it is etc then how to begin to edit maproutside.xml file and again copy paste that property in the name section just write mapreduce.framework.name and the value will be here again save it and close it finally we need to edit yarn site xml file again copy paste the property over here whose name will be yarn.nodemanager.ox-services And the value will be map reduce shuffle. Again, we have to create another property whose name will be yarn dot node manager dot ox services dot map reduce dot shuffle. And the value will be organization org dot apache dot hadoop dot mapper dot shuffle handler. Finally, save it and close it. Once it's done, we have to fix the bin folder to run hadoop in Windows. First, go to your Hadoop folder and then delete the bin folder after that download the bin folder with this link you can check the description box for this link after that extract that bin folder inside the Hadoop folder now open the bin folder you will see winutils.exe file run this file you will see an system error one dot dll file is missing now we need to install it again go back to your browser and search which dll file is missing over here msbcr120 dll file is missing for me so i am just search it and download it since my system is 64 bit so i am downloading the 64 bit version if your system is 32 bit you can download the 32 bit version once it downloaded copy this dll file into your system 32 folder to access that system 32 folder you have to go to your pc then your local disk then go to windows and then scroll down you will find system 32 folder inside this folder paste that dll file now again run this winutils.exe file and you see there will be no error pop up once it's done we need to install c++ redistributable for visual studio for that again go back to your browser and search msvc-170 and click on this microsoft official link and scroll down and download the 64 bit version if you are using 32 bit version please download that one once it's downloaded install it click on i agree then install finally we are done now go to your search bar search command prompt and run it as a administrator first we need to format the name node just write hdfs space name node space dash format once it's done you will see over here name node successfully formatted now we can launch hadoop cluster First, go back to root directory, writing cd backslash, 
then write cd hadoop execute and then cd has been executed over here just write start dash dfs dot cmd to start name node and data node and you will see name node and data node is running it is in shutdown also you can check the running status from command prompt just write jps now we need to start yarn writing start and dash yarn dot cmd execute it You can visually check Hadoop cluster is running or not. Just go to your browser and write localhost semicolon 9870. You will see the status of Hadoop cluster. You can check the log and the files you have uploaded in HDFS over here to see resource manager just execute localhost semicolon 8088 you will see the cluster size and number of nodes is running That's it for today's video. I am just stopping all the nodes to writing stop dash all dot cmd. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to upload a data in HDFS and run a MapReduce function on top of it. Till then, take care. Bye bye.